to the Weekly Leaders Digest. This is your hub for little mini bursts of strengths-based leadership insights. I'm Dana Williams, and I'm a leadership coach and strengths advocate, and I'm dedicated to empowering difference makers just like you to create a lasting impact. Are you a leader feeling stuck and overwhelmed or yearning to make a bigger difference? You're in the right place. Each week, we'll explore how to leverage your unique strengths to boost your productivity, your energy, and your confidence. So whether you're a seasoned executive or emerging leader, this podcast is your weekly dose of inspiration and practical strategies to unlock your full potential. Let's dive in and ignite your leadership journey. Today is October the 22nd. This is a time when there's a lot going on in October. We're kind of gearing up for for Thanksgiving. We're gearing up for the end of the year. And your well-being and your mindset is vitally important right now. So I want you to think about daring greatly with your strengths. And one of my favorite authors, speakers, people I follow is Brene Brown. Many of you have read her book, Dare to Lead. It teaches us that vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation and creativity. Your strengths can be powerful tools in this journey of daring greatly. So let's talk about what daring greatly looks like to you, because to all of us, it's kind of a scary word to think about is how do I be vulnerable in the workplace? And we know um, from all the studies that have been done recently in the last five years, on social, on all the different channels, that when people are vulnerable and they're real, it becomes contagious. So as a leader, when you're vulnerable, everybody else in the room will be vulnerable. But if you're not, it's gonna hold everything in. You would not believe how many leaders I've worked with in teams that have been holding something, it's like the elephant in the room and they're afraid to get it out. But the leader is the one that leads this. So as a leader, you need to be the one to be vulnerable. Most of you are saying, yeah, but how do I do that? It's scary. I don't even know how to do it. Well, you go to your strengths. If you have self-assurance in your top five, you can use that to step confidently into a vulnerable conversation. For those of you that don't have self-assurance, don't worry, you've got something else you can use. Believe me, we can find one of your top 10 strengths that you can use to help you be vulnerable. For example, those with restorative, those are people that love to solve problems. They can lead the charge in addressing challenges head on. So I want you to think about your top five five strengths this week and identify a situation where you've been playing it safe. How many of us have been playing it safe? I've done it. I've done it a lot of my life and I continue to do it sometimes, but I never really move forward unless I take a moment to say, what the heck is going on? So I want you to think about how can you use your strengths to dare greatly in this area? And I want you to remember Brene Brown's words. You can choose courage or you can choose comfort, but you can't choose both. Here's a mindfulness moment. I want you to reflect on a time when you were using your strengths and it required vulnerability. How did that experience help you grow as a leader? And if you can't think of one, maybe it's time for you to go ahead and create one. I am so glad we were you were here today with us. And I want to thank you for tuning in to the Weekly Leaders Digest. Remember, you are unique and there's no reason for you to sell for anything less than being a difference maker with impact. I truly believe that when you embrace your uniqueness, you'll find yourself more productive, energized, and confident in your leadership. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and share it with fellow leaders. Your feedback in the form of ratings or reviews means the world to me, and I personally read each one. So if you're ready to take the next step in your leadership journey, visit our website at danawilliamsco.com And you can schedule a discovery call. You can pick up your favorite copy of the Strings Journal. And you can also reach out to us on social. This is your resource to help you live in your strengths daily. Until next week, this is Dana reminding you that your strengths are your superpower. Use them well.